Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much-anticipated main event. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. And his opponent, the record of 51 victories, 25 wins by knockout, and five losses. Hailing out of Washington, D.C., Ronald Winkie. Right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Opening round scheduled for 10. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. <laughs> Throughout your training career, what did you consistently feel more comfortable with? Training the shorter guy against the taller guy or the taller guy against the shorter guy? Well, you can't teach tall. You know what? That's there or not. I love that. Right hurt from that. Nice work with the uppercut. Please. That's a stinging right hand by Money. Back and forth exchange. Good job protecting himself. Well played, straight right hand. Money's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Oh, what a huge power punch. Solid straight right hand. A headshot block. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Able to land the hook to the head. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Oh, doubling up the jab by Money. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Wright's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Deep breath. You're in control of that. Just keep it up, right? Now, what did I tell you? Keep your hands up, right? Now, you're throwing your punches, but your hands are down. You good? Okay, now focus. Now focus. Now, come on. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Unable to make an impact there by Winky Wright. Up top with the right hand. Parries that punch intended for the head. Wright's just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on him. Halfway through this round here. Solid left hand to the head. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Winky Wright. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, you go straight back, and you're going to pay a price. He paid a big one there. 
Money's combination punching is working well here. Well targeted right hand by Money. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He scored well after being hit himself. Last 10 seconds. Flush right hand to the head. And that's the end of round two. Money's work rate in that last round served him well. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Resourceful jab by Money. Money's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, you know, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Bryce got a way of just getting away from that punch. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Money's right hand scores well that time. what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep that head moving, baby. Come on, champ. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Nice job doubling up the jab by Winky Wright. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Showing you some defense there with the block. And round three comes to an end. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. That was good. Nice work. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles but maybe going to lose to war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. That was a miss by Winky Wright. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Use your feet! Money's right hand working well that time. He scored well. He just missed that shot up top. And he ties up on the inside. Good right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Oh. 
And the round comes to an end. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. There's that overhand right. Wright's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Winky right unloads with a left hand. Fires right back at him. Nice block by Winky Wright. And he just holds on there. A well-placed overhand right. Right left, working well that time. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Protecting his head well with his guard. You could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Money's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm gonna take advantage. Great round now, back and forth. After he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give a little confidence. You might, if you train for a tough fight, you're ready for this. All right, breathe, breathe, deep breath. Get some more. All right, you're good, okay? You're good out there, now breathe, breathe. The start of the sixth round. Money's coming out here at the start of this round, knowing that the first half of this fight clearly has him out way in front on the scorecard. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys don't do good when they're way out in front because they start letting up a little bit. They start taking things for granted. That is probably the only thing that can be an enemy of him right now. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Good defensive skill with the block by Winky Wright. Bunny's right hand scores well. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working. Stay with it until he changes. Blocks the headshot. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Good exchange, he fires back. And that's the end of round six. Money's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing 
to get you to this place. That's a solid right hand by Money. And now he's targeting upstairs. Big punch from Winky. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Money. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Carries that punch away. And now he scores well with a straight right. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And he's holding. Blocks it away. Right to the head with that right. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good defensive skill. And that's the end of round Keep seven. Doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. Money's been making a point of working harder. He's the busier fighter, throwing more punches. And as we start round number eight, he's up big on Teddy's scorecard. Well, he's getting a little opposition. I mean, the other guy must have a big bank account or something. You know what the other guy's corner should do? What? He should tell him that he just got a phone call from his wife. And guess what? All the money's gone. They got to create urgency. <laughs> all the money's gone. You know, something happened. Your account's all zero. You better start fighting. Shooting right hand by Wiki Wright. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good. Now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't thrown back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Still not moving enough. Come on, now move, move. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Defense, good block by Winky Wright. Huge left hand from Winky. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Wright's corner knows the truth here. He has not done enough to really be in this fight. They are telling him, you need to go out there and get after it. Hit that gas pedal. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? And he, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. You see him holding on. Wright's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. 
Trying to go downstairs, but off target. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Money's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Commits to the straight right. Nice block by Money. Solid. It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. And he had a beautiful sight. Continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Stay away from those. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. And there's the bell. Can you believe that? He was saved by the bell. Teddy, you've been in a spot like this before as a trainer. Right now, you know what? What do you spend time on? You want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot, why he got hit. But first, you got to make sure he revives. You got to get him clear-minded. You got to get his senses back first. You got to bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Relax, relax, relax. You just got to relax, okay? You got to move out there and move, move, move. Breathe, breathe. They've met up for nine straight. Now the tenth and final round. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Jump on, jump on. up top with a right hand. Wright's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Now hugging on the inside. He was hurt. And bang, and away he goes. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? What? Completely one-sided fight. At least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges 
judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. So he's unable to recover from that one clean shot. This bout ends by way of knockout. You know, obviously I'm not in his body, so you